When you think about Easter morning, what words come to mind? Well, it certainly is, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The congregation erupts in joy and hope and victory over Christ defeating sin, death, and the devil for us. But there are some other words that come to mind, words that give us hope and promise and Easter joy every day of our life. It's Easter evening. Jesus has risen. He's appeared to the women, to Peter and John, and now he appears to the disciples. They're in the room. The door is locked for fear of the Jews, fear that they also might be crucified, fear that they might be arrested and murdered for part of the conspiracy that Jesus was accused of. They're there in the room, and Jesus appears to them. And what does he say? Peace be with you. In the midst of their fear, Jesus brings the promise of peace. He shows them his hands and his side so that they know this is the one who was crucified on the cross. This is their friend. This is their teacher. This is their Lord, now risen and victorious and standing in front of them. He says it again to them. Peace be with you, to reiterate it, to make sure that they know that there is something that is given to them by Jesus rising from the dead. It's peace. The peace of the Lord is with them. You see, on the cross, every sin, everything that could separate us from this peace that we have with God has been paid for by Jesus. Peace be with you, because the damning effects of sin have been paid for by Jesus. Jesus stands there and assures them now that they have peace with Jesus. They have peace with God. Oftentimes in our world when we talk about peace, we have a tendency to think of, of no conflict. Everything is peaceful. But peace is not really the absence of conflict. Peace is the presence of Christ in the midst of conflict. Peace is the ability to, to proclaim Christ is risen and to make that bold confession in every part of our lives. The disciples that were with Jesus on that Easter morning, they all would give up their life. They would be martyred for the Christian faith, all except John. They have peace with God, even to the point where they would give up their life to make sure that all would know that Jesus is risen from the dead. Dear saints, we have that peace with Christ, that peace of sins forgiven, that peace of knowing that no matter what your sin is, it has been atoned for by Jesus. We have that peace with Christ every day of our life. No matter what sin it is that's pressuring you, no matter how your conscience is affecting you, remember these words from Jesus to his disciples, more importantly, from Jesus to you. Peace be with you.